Breaking Family, welcome back to my channel. Penny, I'm filming here. So today for you guys, I have a Dollar Tree haul. Before we begin the haul, I have a few things I want to share with you guys. The first of which is my sister got married this past Saturday. Yay! I've been telling you guys about this wedding for a while now. Buying items from Dollar Tree for it will finally happen and she looked gorgeous. I'll share a couple photos of you guys. Here is me with the bride and my other sister. So of course, all three of us are sisters. Then here is a picture with all the bridesmaids. The photographer was really, really good. My sister hasn't gotten all the pictures in yet, but there was a couple of the photographers put on her Instagram and I took some screenshots of them. I wanted to share that with you guys because I know I've been talking about that wedding for a while now and that's partly why I haven't been uploading too often the past about month just because um, I've been preparing for the wedding. And now it's really time to prepare for my own wedding. Tomorrow I actually meet with the caterer. So that's it about my sister's wedding. The other thing I want to share with you guys is this awesome t-shirt. I was actually talking um, to a subscriber last week about it. They were saying that they saw it at Walmart and I actually purchased it. I just haven't shown you guys it yet. So it's this sweater from Walmart. It's only $11.97. You're going to find it in the men's section. It's a Rugrats sweater. But what I love about it is the back. Look at the back. It says Rugrats right there. And then right down here it has Reptar, Chucky I think, Tommy, and then um, Angelica. So I actually had to buy this in a medium because I couldn't find it in a small and the medium doesn't look too bad on me and I really like the sweater and I swear if you try to buy this sweater at like um, Box Lunch which is a place that sells graphic t-shirts mainly in malls it'll be way more it probably be like $40 for this versus the $11 so I was like I'm gonna buy it even if it's a size too big still real cute okay that's all I have to share with you guys now let's begin the Dollar Tree haul as always I like to start off with my favorite item that I found this week at Dollar Tree and that Dollar Tree item was on the ground I have to go grab it okay that item was these candle holders from Dollar Tree woohoo I've never seen something like this at Dollar Tree before now I'm gonna tell you something I wouldn't put a candle on this and actually light it without securing it differently I'm gonna tell you why I have this one it's fine okay but then I have this one that I try to put a heavy candle on because I wanted to see how much it could hold and then it cracked so my point is I would not put any candle that's too heavy and even if the candle was light, I probably wouldn't light it up just because I'd be afraid unless I did something else to secure this. And I don't mean that it cracked. I actually mean like it just kind of snapped at the bottom. I think I could fix it. But like I said, I just wouldn't put any like open flame on top of this just because I'd be afraid. I would put like something just to like this, a candle right there just to be decorative. What am I trying to say? Um, but I wouldn't light it up. I've never seen anything like this at Dollar Tree before. It doesn't look like something that would cost you a dollar. Now, obviously with it breaking on me, the other one, you know, the quality gives it more so a way that it's a dollar, but it doesn't look like something that would cost you a dollar. I thought this was super cool and I cannot wait to use it to try to do some DIYs with. And also there's like a hook on the back and that's the way you um, hang it up on your wall. These next items, Dollar Tree knew who they were catering to when they put them out. They were catering to nostalgic people like me. Oh my gosh, they are, I don't know the quality of them, but I do not care. Just aesthetically, they are the best. Okay, so they are these air fresheners decade air fresheners there's four different ones from four different decades and the air freshener corresponds to the decade so i'm going to start off with the earliest one which is not my favorite though the first one that i got is this one that is a record and it says 70s ocean now i'm not going to open it up just yet it says on the back remove the product from packaging and hang in the car so i'm guessing because it's called 70s ocean there's going to be a tropical type of smell to it I can't smell it in the packaging but this one is cute this is probably my third favorite one you'll see why then the next decade is my favorite air freshener out of all of them it is the 80s and it is a cassette and like who remembers cassettes and VHS's you know the struggle like you want to watch a VHS you have to rewind it to get to the beginning of the movie or like you wanted to record a song off of the radio and you had to make sure that your cassette didn't already have a song that you wanted on it and you didn't accidentally record over it so this air freshener says that it smells like strawberry can't smell it through the packaging again I don't even care aesthetically I just love it even like the packaging on the back of it it corresponds to the decade like this one has like those type of 70s colors and then this one 80s colors along with like lightning bolts the next one is my least favorite air freshener out of all of them but it is my favorite decade out of all of them it's a CD so not a record you know it's got a little bit more shine to it obviously it's supposed to be a CD it's 90s cherry you know what this one I'll open up first and I'll let you know if it has a strong smell. It kind of smells like um, like lipstick cherry, if that makes sense. Like lipstick growing up, the little kid lipstick. And it would be like cherry scented. That's what it smells like. 
Like it's very faint, you have to stick your nose close to it. For some reason, looking at all this packaging, I have the song, let the music play, you won't get away, stuck in my head. And the last air freshener I have to show you guys is supposed to be from the 2000s, and it's just little headphones. Now, this is what I'll say, these headphones remind me more of the 90s, because in the 2000s, they weren't like that really cheap looking headphone that looks like this. They're a little bit more bulky like the um, Sony headphones. So I don't know if this like represents the 2000s, that great but nonetheless i still like it when i saw these i could not pass them up you know me i love my nostalgic things that's why i have so many graphic t-shirts from like the 90s and stuff because i love me some nostalgic memories these are the cutest air fresheners i've ever seen in my life they're just adorable let music play you won't get away just let the groove in there okay anyways the next item i got for you guys okay anyways so last week I hauled a bunch of Yes products and I wasn't able to find the charcoal products that Dollar Tree has gotten in. This week I was able to find them. The charcoal products from Yes are my favorite products by them. So I picked up three of the detoxifying charcoal paper masks. Now these are the exact same mask that they carry inside of Target in Walmart. They didn't change the quality on them or anything like that. If you pay attention, you'll see that there is a bow on the corner. So what I'm thinking is just is just from Christmas time and they're trying to get rid of them. So Christmas time from last year. You're saving at least another dollar if you find these and buy them at Dollar Tree. At Walmart, I think they're $2.50 and at Target, they're like $2.89 for one of the Yes masks. And like I told you guys last week, I like the Yes brand mask a lot. And this one in particular is my favorite just because it helps me get rid of like the dirt that's deep in my skin. Along with the mask, I was able to find the charcoal facial wipes, which I was looking everywhere for. And then when I found them, it was like in a big container. So I bought three of these total. There are 10 wipes inside of every pack. And if you look at the trial set, of Target. These retail for $2.79 each when there ju is just 10 towels in them. Again, highly recommend. Now these ones, I don't know if they're, now these ones, I don't know if they're like from Christmas time because there's nothing that shows it's Christmas time on it, but eh, I really don't know. Now I have two pens to show you guys. One of them is for me and one of them I actually bought with my future sister-in-law Summer and she ended up not taking it, but I want to show you guys it. First one is this little windmill looking, uh, is that what they're called? Or like pinwheels? I, I think that's what they're called. Pens. Now there's a little twisty thing on the back and it makes it turn, but this thing is like a fidget spinner. If you take it near like an air conditioner or a fan, it is so cool because you can move it around like a fidget spinner and then it goes like super, super fast and depending on how you put it, it might might make it stop this one is actually super super cool they had them in different colors but the pink one is the one that summer chose i have to give it back to her but pretty cool and the next pen is for me i love my unicorns fairies and mermaids i always used to paint myself into those things when i had my makeup channel i got a unicorn pen now they had two different hair colors a purple hair colored unicorn and then the pink one i got the pink one this one is so cute these unicorn pens i think are nicer than the other ones they have that are just like purple blue and pink they're just one solid color and they're like rubbery looking next up i got these door hooks super cute door hooks now dollar tree i keep saying this in my hauls lately because it's like over and over again to keep getting four different designs in pineapples flamingos cactuses and mermaids so it's the same thing with these hooks the ones i chose were the pineapple ones because i like these ones the most i like the color on them and the design the most i picked these up in hopes that i could do a diy with them and because i like the way these ones look the most I'm hoping to do something that's a little bit more colorful. If not, I can always spray paint them. And if not, I could always just like spray paint them and use them somewhere else in my home so that it matches it. I love door hooks. One of the better inventions in life. They help you declutter a lot. This week at Dollar Tree, I was able to find this Crayola, a beginner's guide to hand lettering calligraphy. And I picked it up for myself. So I actually made my sister's ring box and I made one for myself already. I don't know how to do calligraphy, but I really want to know how to so that I can make my maybe a different box that looks a little bit better than the one that I made. Um, basically, I'm writing my name on it and my fiance's name along with the date. For my sisters, I actually used a wood burner, but like I said, I'm not, I don't have terrible handwriting, but I don't know how to write in calligraphy. So I saw this book and basically every single page, it has, um, kind of like those big lines and letters from like when you're in kindergarten that you write on to learn how to do calligraphy. It's showing you how to do the strokes and it shows you how to do the letters, um, certain style of letters, because I know there's different lettering that you can do in calligraphy. I really do plan on using this because I really want to learn how to do this. I think it's like a good talent to have. So I'm gonna really um, try my best to 
get myself going into this. Now it does say to use with Crayola broad line or super tip markers. I don't plan on doing that. I think it just wants you to buy those markers, but I'm sure you can do it with any marker or any calligraphy pen. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait to use this. I got a new wall art canvas piece. They got a bunch of new ones in this one. It says blessed and it totally reminds me of the fall season because of the colors on this and it has the tones that I want to do this year when I decorate for fall. Like um, white, uh, gray, browns, and I'm also thinking like a deep green would look nice. So I really did like this one and I cannot wait to use it. I think I have something in mind for this that I'll end up showing you guys when I do actually do it but yeah pick this up four dollar can't beat it and the last item i picked up this week at dollar tree were lots and lots of shades i've been losing them left and right this summer just because i've been giving them away to people because i've been doing lots of driving with other people inside of the car and i've told you guys this before dollar tree is a place to buy sunglasses for me because i always lose my sunglasses and i don't feel bad using or paying a dollar for them and then losing them and i would feel so bad if i would buy one for like ten dollars fifty dollars and then lose it i love my dollar tree sunglasses I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can. Oh, I gotta stop. But it's so good. She's deceiving me. Cuts my security. For real though, they're lifesavers to me because I told you guys this a plenty of times. I've got a floater in this left eye. I've had it for, it's been about like four years now that I've had it in this eye. And it's gotten better, but it's always there. And when I wear sunglasses, it can be just regular Dollar Tree sunglasses. I don't see it. But if I don't wear sunglasses, I see it and it's super annoying trying to drive when you've got like this weird clear line in your eye. So that's it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to end my hauls with a question. And last week, I wanted to know if you guys are ready for fall. Now, I'm not going to say which one I saw more of just because it was kind of hard. But I'll show you some of the responses right now. Obviously, it was a mixture, but I do think I saw most people saying that they're not ready for fall so for this week's question i want to know what is your favorite song to dance to like that one song that you hear and when you hear it you can't help but to start dancing or like tap your toe do a little bobble in the head hands down the song that gets me just dancing is suavemente like that song comes on and then the puerto ricans all around me we just get up and we start suavemente besame I kid you not, I've been to weddings where the dance floor necessarily isn't packed and then that song comes on and it is just packed. It's a good song. So let me know what song gets you dancing down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this week's Dollar Tree haul. I will see you guys tomorrow with a DIY video. Take care. Bye. <laughs>